Are you looking for the best laptop for music production? In this video, we will look at some of the four best laptops on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Apple MacBook Pro 14, 2021. The best laptop for music production we've tested is the Apple MacBook Pro 14, 2021. It's an exceptionally well-built device with plenty of processing horsepower, and it provides a great user experience with its mini-LED display, spacious keyboard, and gigantic touchpad. Its excellent port selection includes three USB-C slash Thunderbolt 4s and an HDMI port, so you can easily plug in your production station, keyboard, audio interface, etc. There's also a high-output 3.5mm headphone jack for hard-to-drive cans. This laptop has fans, but they never get loud, so you don't have to worry about fan noise getting picked up on the microphone. The main downside of this laptop is that you're paying for graphical performance that you don't necessarily need. If you want more screen space and don't mind paying more, go with the Apple MacBook Pro 16, 2021. It's the same device but with better sounding speakers and a slightly longer battery life. As you may already know, there are newer versions of MacBook Pro 14 and 16 with the M2 chip. They're identical to the M1 models in design, you just get a faster M2 associated HDMI 2.1 and increased memory support, up to 96GB. Apple no longer sells the M1 model, so getting the M2 is best. If you want more information, we have a full review of the M2 MacBook Pro 14 coming soon. For Windows users, we recommend the Dell Precision 5570 2022. It's also a high-end mobile workstation that provides a premium user experience. It's available with Intel 12th Gen H series CPUs, which can easily handle complex music with hundreds of plugins, tracks, and samples running simultaneously. Unfortunately, its battery life is nowhere near as good as the MacBook Pro, and it only has three USB-C slash Thunderbolt 4 ports, so you'll need a dock or dongle if you want to use an external display. At Number 2. Apple MacBook Air 13, 2022. If you don't want to spend too much money on a mobile workstation like the Apple MacBook Pro 14, 2021, the Apple MacBook Air 13, 2022, might be a good fit. This ultra-portable is easy to carry around, and while it doesn't quite have the processing power of the MacBook Pro, it's still plenty fast for most workloads. It's a fanless device, so you don't need to worry about fan noise ruining your recordings. Plus, the battery lasts over 10 hours of light use. The main drawback is its limited port selection, as it's limited to two USB-C slash Thunderbolt 3 ports with support for one external display only. A larger alternative would be the newly released Apple MacBook Air 15, 2023. It's essentially the same device as the 13-inch but with a 15.3-inch screen and better speakers. Its battery life isn't quite as good as its smaller siblings, but still enough to get you through a full day of light use. Like the 13-inch, there's a fingerprint sensor so that you can log in quickly. The Acer Swift 14, 2023, is our recommendation on the Windows side. This 14-inch model has a nice bright screen and tons of ports, and it's available with Intel 13th Gen H series processors, typically found in mobile workstations and gaming laptops. However, its keyboard, touchpad, and speakers aren't as good as the MacBook Airs. Also, the fan is audible when running at full speed, so it might not be ideal if you need to record something with a microphone. At Number 3. Asus VivoBook 16M1605, 2023. The best budget laptop for music production we've tested is the Asus VivoBook 16M1605, 2023. Like our mid-range pick, this is a 16-inch model, but it isn't a 2-in-1, so you lose the tablet functionality. The display doesn't support touch input at all. You still get a nice keyboard and a large touchpad, and it's also available with the same AMD Ryzen CPUs as the Dell. Its fingerprint sensor allows you to log in quickly, and its battery lasts around 8 hours of light use. Ports include three USB-As, a USB-C, not Thunderbolt 4 or USB 4, sadly, and an HDMI. The display only gets to about 250 candelas per square meter at full brightness, which is fine for most indoor settings but not for sunny environments or outdoors in broad daylight. 
One last note, you may have trouble finding a configuration with 16GB of RAM, so you may have to get an 8GB model and upgrade it yourself. At Number 4. Microsoft Surface Pro 8 2021. If you like the 2-in-1 tablet form factor, get the Microsoft Surface Pro 8 2021. You can detach the keyboard to make it easier to hold as a tablet or save space and pop it back on when you need to type something out. Its 3.2 display looks sharp, gets bright enough to combat glare, and supports pen input. You get an excellent 1080p webcam for video calls and a Windows Hello IR camera for quick logins. The battery is pretty short at 7 hours of light use, but luckily, the power adapter is fairly compact, and you can also charge via its USB-C slash Thunderbolt 4 ports. Speaking of ports, expect to get a dock because it only has two USB-C slash Thunderbolt 4s, a headphone jack, and a proprietary Surface charging port. Unfortunately, you need to buy the keyboard and stylus separately. As this is a model from 2021, there's already a newer version, the Surface Pro 9. It's essentially the same device but with faster Intel 12th gen processors. The Surface Pro 9 is easier to find, but if you don't need the performance increase, you can save a good chunk of cash with the Surface Pro 8 since it's an older device and often on sale.